Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Daniel from Second Chance Love and I am so happy that you are all here for today's video. Now if you have been following me you know that I am releasing my spooky house tour gradually within different videos and today's video is going to be another fabulous area in my home that is decorated for Halloween. So today's video is going to be all about exploring my little witch's corner. So I am again very excited for today's video because it's going to be featuring my witch's corner which it looks amazing and I cannot wait to show you guys how it looks like. So as always if you haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure that you do my spectacular friends. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops and if you aren't following me on my social media platform Instagram please do. I would love and appreciate it for us to be friends and you can find me under as second underscore chance underscore love underscore. So today's spectacular video again is going to be my witch's corner. I cannot wait to show you guys. It looks so awesome at night when it's all lit up and everything which you will be seeing that as well. I'm going to have it um, in the day how it looks like because I'm going to be giving you guys a full detail of all the items that are placed in that area and then I'm also going to be showcasing you guys how it looks like at night. So I am super excited to show you guys and how it looks like and I'm so so happy. So as always if you like this video I would love and appreciate for you to hit that like button share with me your comments your feedback you guys know that I absolutely love that so make sure to drop them down below in the comment box and just let me know what you think what was your favorite part and I absolutely sure that you guys are going to love it I am that that happy with it and I cannot wait for you guys to see it as always remember this is going to be a part series so I definitely still have a few other options on other areas in my home which I will be showcasing that is decorated for for Halloween so make sure that you are following me and you hit that notification bell so you know when the rest of my videos come or if you love thrifting and hauls and shopping trips and shop with me's make sure to also follow me you'll absolutely love all that and more that's yet to come so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this fabulous spooky tour Okay everyone, so this is one of my ultimate favorite areas that I currently have decked out in my home for Halloween. This is my witch's station or also referred to as witch's corner. So if you kind of get the theme that I'm doing, corners, 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 lots of corners. So this is another corner of my home in my living room that I absolutely am so obsessed with the way that it came out. I definitely had a lot of creativity for this little spot. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a closer look of everything and give you more details on this creation. So starting on this end, we have the beautiful Hocus Pocus Ray Dunn book stack with the luster shine finish and the hat as well absolutely absolutely gorgeous i just love that piece next to it is also some pretty orange and purple roses with black stems and leaves that i got at walmart a few years ago so i thought that was gonna give it a pop of color and definitely a little bit more floral just because i feel like i don't have enough floral incorporated into my spooky areas and then next i have this very beautiful piece which i got at michael's i think it was two or three years ago possibly a little bit longer really cute absolutely adorned into like a victoria bust so like a victoria era bust statue so i absolutely love it i thought it would give it some uniqueness to the area then i have my candelabra that's battery operated as well from target that i got from their uh, bullseye's playground area and I have this plastic skull that I got at Dollar Tree a few years ago. Now there's a little hole because I used to actually put a plastic candle that would flicker like if it was a real candle. But I don't have an extra one for it this year. So that explains the hole there. And then we get over to our Wicked Potion section. So lots and lots of potions. That Wicked Potion holder I got from Target a few years ago as well. It was very, very popular. A lot of people wanted it when it was out and it was also part of the Bullseye's Playground area. Then I also have a lot of potion bottles. This one and I believe that one as well and the Spider Fangs 
are all ones that I bought together. I want to say they were Target. They were either Target or Dollar Tree or 99 cents even, but I have a feeling they were more Target. The Spooky Spider one, that one is definitely 99 cent store. And the Spider Venom and the 100% Pure Poison, that one um 99 cents only stores which are only available in four states currently if you saw my previous video i did a fabulous fall haul if you haven't checked that out make sure that you do and then also these potion bottles i actually made myself um kind of like a diy i had these bottles that i used from last year's these were um halloween decorations that we used when we hosted our party pre-covid so before covid happened um we hosted like our first halloween party when we first moved into our home so i had those left over and i decided to put some mod podge with the labels that i found over at michael's which are absolutely amazing black cat saliva then there's this one of just a spider and then the other one is the premium elixir so I thought those were absolutely gorgeous and they do have orange lights. The ones in the back have orange lights inside. So at night, which I will be doing a review at night and it will showcase the beautiful color orange that you guys will see. Then I also have the Ray Dunn Toil and Trouble mug on top of the potion bottles. And this is the mug that has the cauldron in the back. And yes, I do have my price tags. I do not remove them. If I use them for myself, I for decor purposes, I leave the price tags on. I know some, my, some people may not agree with that, but I am okay with it. It doesn't bother me. And then I also have a Wicked Witch Green Ray Dunn mug as well. And this fabulous book that I found at Home Goods. And it says Book of Spells. And it's very, very vintage inspired, which as you guys know, I love a good vintage touch. So this definitely had to be a part of the Wicked Witch Station. Now moving on to the other side of my witch's corner, I have this really cute spider that I got from the 99 cent store a few years back. I thought I was going to give it a nice little spooky touch so I thought it would be really cute to just have it like it's walking up on the table. And this is the most amazing piece out of everything I feel. This is like I feel like the centerpiece is this whole collection right here and I'm going to go into detail as to everything that's on this. So this is like a witch hand that I got at the 99 cents only stores a few years ago. It's supposed to be like a steak that you put into your lawn. So what I ended up doing is I just cut up some of the tubing which was plastic really easy with some scissors and I pinned it to the wall to make it seem like it's coming out of the wall. And then I just just pinned it with the Ray Dunn birdhouse right here on the apple topper and it makes it look like it's holding the apple like if it's drawing it out of the cauldron so I thought that was a really really cool idea this is very very snow white and the seven dwarfs inspired which if you guys already know I'm a humongous Disneyland fanatic and Disney fanatic overall and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is one of my absolute favorite movies so this is totally totally you know giving off evil queen and wicked witch um vibes with this whole setup which i'm just absolutely in love and then next we have the ray dunn poison apple in purple which is just perfectly fitting for this whole entire scene and how i made this work guys because at the bottom is the witch's brew which is also ray dunn and the uh, ingredients is on the back of the cauldron and then it's sitting on top of this DIY and this is supposed to be like a rock formation that actually lights up at night and it's very pretty. I made this last um, I think two or three years ago. I don't remember the person who I saw it on YouTube. 
I wish I remember so I could give credit to them because it was so amazing and he taught you how to make this which is just perfect because it lights up at night which you guys will be seeing that once I show you the preview of how it looks at night and it's supposed to be just like the sulfur the rock the formation that the cauldron sits on that you know that it looks like it looks illuminated like it's brewing the cauldron so it's really cool so this also is just regular spider web that you can use to decorate like outside or on walls um you can find this like at dollar tree walmart or the 99 cent store so i use this to kind of replicate like if it's foam and bubbles and just brewing like brewing effect like if it was smoke coming out of the cauldron and outwards so i just added that all around so how this works is inside the witch's brew cauldron i have a large mason jar that's sitting at the bottom and of course i put a protective um cork board coaster at the bottom so the jar could sit on that so it doesn't scratch the bottom because this material is very easily scratched and then on top of that i added a another cork board coaster to hold the apple in place so it's very very um difficult to balance out so what i ended up doing was is i actually added protective casing all over the cauldron sides all through the round area so i just stuffed it with a bunch of tissue paper and all around it to secure the jar so it would remain in place and not move because when people pass by you know i didn't want it to move or jolt or shake and cause everything to fall down so then i went ahead and covered all of it with the spider web which again gives it that effect that it's foam smoke spooming out of the cauldron and out so it's just this is absolutely one of my favorite parts and then moving on i also added a basic witch ray dunn mug topper with the witch's hat and this battery operated candle which i always have them unscrewed because in the day um the i don't want them on so that's how the only way that you can turn them off is just by unscrewing the top and then i just screw it back on at night so it illuminates and what better fitting than the poison apple recipe book so i actually bought this book um a few years ago from michael's i found it and fell in love with it again it's giving off that snow white vibes which um, i'm so obsessed with and it has two spells um or recipes it has the sleeping spell and then the poison apple one taste of the poison apple and the victim's eyes will close forever in the sleeping death. So it's really, really cool. I love how it came with it. And that did not come with it. The skull with the crow sitting on top. I added that piece. I bought this, I believe, from walmart a few years ago and i just thought it was going to tie in so well to make it seem like it's a skull body holding the book the hands are part of the book that comes together and everything is just being held by a metal stand on the back right there it's holding the book but as you can see the head is not part of it i just put that on the top to make it look really cool so i am very very obsessed with this whole look and how it came out and it's just really perfect all of this is my favorite just right here this is seriously like so awesome and i just loved how it all came out and i'm very excited for you guys to see it at night so without further ado i will go ahead and showcase how that looks at night
Wow, I hope that you guys totally enjoyed this. It was so much fun. I absolutely had such a blast creating this entire witch's corner in my home. Again, my favorite part has to be the poison apple under the bridge, oh, under the witch's brew. That is like my total favorite area from the whole scene. I just love how it came out. It looks amazing and it looks so spooky at night and it's just perfect with the poison apple recipe book right next to it. It's like totally my favorite. I just love it. So as always, I hope that this video finds you all well, guys. Thank you so much for your continued support and your comments. I absolutely love each and every one of you. I really, really, truly appreciate everything from you guys and I like to get to know you on a one-on-one -on -one basis to, so make sure to message me on Instagram go ahead and leave a comment below I will always answer back to you if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me anything as well you're more than welcome to and I am just so excited for what's yet to come there's a lot more videos I have planned out so make sure to stay tuned my spooky tour will continue on and then I have a few hauls that will also be coming up and yeah, I'm so excited. So until next time, guys, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love. And mwah, stay safe and spectacular, friends. Happy October.